Hey YouTube, what's up? And today I'll be showing you uh, the best kind of beginner apps or starter apps that you can get on your iPad. These are the apps I recommend you go and you download when you first get your iPad. So we'll go in and we'll jump right in. And this first one's kind of obvious because whenever you first launch the app store on your iPad, it, it asks you if you want to download this, and it's iBooks. And basically this is, you know, Apple's book reader. This is, you know, Apple's... Uh, you, know, you know, the way you're going to read books on it, or you can use Kindle app or whatever. It's just the one I use. You can turn the pages. I mean, you've all seen the demos, so you know how it works. But that's iBooks. Next is uh, uh, the New York Times Editor Cho Editor's Choice application, which uh, lets you basically read the news on your iPad here. So it loads up, and you can tap on an article to read it. There's the full article. You get ads in there, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And then you can tap down here and say, like, if I want to read the technology news, I can see what's going on in technology. Pretty simple. Then we got NPR, which is basically another news reader application. Uh, you know, it's it's not but for the exact same audience, but you can oops, easily read your, you know, your news that you want to read if you like to read NPR. And... Truthfully, I don't read NPR that much, but just the way this app is, the beautiful layout, you know, part of being a starter app is one you can show off to your friends, and this is definitely one of those apps. <clears throat> Another app is Doodle Buddy, which is definitely one of those show-off apps. Let me lower my iPad down here so we can get better in the camera. But, you know, you've seen Doodle Buddy for the iPhone, or I hope you have, and it's not that great. Doodle Buddy for the iPhone really isn't much to write home about. Doodle Buddy for the iPad, they really optimized it, and this is much better. So, like, say I want, I can choose my color down here. I want me a red. I can take two fingers, and I can draw. And it's, it's really nice. It works much better than the um, iPhone app. And it's pretty nice. Uh, next, Apple doesn't include a calculator app with the iPhone, or with the iPad, excuse me. So this is a calculator app. Here it is. It's free in the App Store, Calculator XT. And I don't know if I can get the whole thing in the shop, but if you go landscape, you actually get your calculator and the little drawing area. So if you're doing trigonometry or geometry, you can draw your shape and then fill in your numbers, which is really nice to have. You can, you know, X, X, you know, and... It's actually one of the best calculator apps that I've seen for the iPad. I believe it's still free, and it's a really nice little app. Next is a Tap Tap Radiant. I'll open it up just for a brief moment here, but uh, it's it's basically kind of like Tap Tap Revenge, you know, a bit different, but the same concept, made by the same people. And basically, you can play you play a song. Go in here, and choose a song you want, and tap on it and play it. Turn down my volume here play <clears throat> so and basically you play it this is actually backwards here but you just basically tap to play so pretty simple really basic I wish I would have done something a bit different but it does work and it's free in the app store so what do you expect let's go back and portrait here for just a moment I probably have to go back and landscape but here's tweet deck which, uh, this is one of those apps that it isn't the best, but it's one of the best free ones. So if you're looking for a good free Twitter app, this is the one for you. You easily tap on your tweet, you get everything you want up here, tap on a link, it'll open up the link up in here, which is kind of weird. But your website likes to load up up top here. Pinch to zoom, everything like that. Hit the compose button, you can compose your tweet. And that's basically it for TweetDeck. You know, it's not the best, but it does work. You can go on landscape and get all three columns. So anyway, let's move on. Next is Marvel Comics, which is a really nice app. Marvel came out with a really great app. This is also for the iPhone, but I don't think it's that great on the iPhone. So basically, I choose what I want to read. I got one downloaded here, which is this demo. Hit read, X-Men. So I can go through here and I can read it. Or say like if I want to kind of like watch it like a movie, I can double tap, and here it is. And I can tap 
to advance, and it kind of watches like a movie in some ways. So, pretty neat. Next is Harbor Master, which I'm going to have to go landscape for this one, too. And uh, it's kind of like Flight Control. I don't know if you've ever heard of that app. It's really popular, but this is free. I hit play here. You can actually buy more maps. I just have the one included here. So, uh, where's the play button here? Sorry. Start. And here's basically the game. You Here comes your boat. Basically, we're going to take it here. You get the, the music kind of sucks. But uh, basically, you just play. Dragon Boat's where you want them. And they'll unload their cargo. When they're done, you just drag them off. Pretty simple. We have next here. Next is ABC Player, which I'll keep in landscape for this. This is a really awesome app. Um, doesn't really work that well on my iPad. Video doesn't seem to work very well on my iPad. It's, it's just a bug, I think. You know, if I watch video for very long, it'll eventually freeze up. But here it is anyway. Choose what I want to watch here. So we'll watch Lost. Leave their last episodes tonight. Tap play. And now it's off to go play Lost. So this is kind of like actually a Hulu app, basically. And there it is. It's going to play your ads and everything. Pretty nice. Next is Pandora. I'm not going to play any music off of here, obviously. Actually, I'll mute it. That way we can play a little bit here. But uh, this is basically the app looks a lot like the iPod app. So I can say I want to play, uh, let's see here, something I'm embarrassed of. Dave Matthews Band. Sure. But so, so it's going to find Dave Matthews Band, find the song that's related, and it's playing it right now. And thumbs up, pause it, skip it. And that's basically that. Next we have Yahoo Entertainment, which, you know, it's not a necessity, but it's another one of those show-off apps. So here is basically your um, a schedule for TV. Whenever you watch it, it'll actually ask your zip code and ask your cable provider. And, that's, and this is one of those rare apps that's better in portrait. But if I go portrait with it, you've got a bigger uh, area here to look at your uh, shows. One thing is, in my area, it only gives me the first 100 channels, which kind of stinks. I'm going to go, and I'll pick the weather channel, see what's on. Tap on it, it'll give me information. Some shows don't show up, like this one. Uh, the Dark Ages. And basically, this is the way it works. Most most shows, okay, here's one that will show up. I can look at the show details, see who's starring in it, see what episode this is in the series, things like that. And the last app, which the only reason I recommend this is because it's free for right now, and uh, it's kind of nice, Financial Times. And they're giving this free until July 31st. So definitely live it up while you've got it. So basically, here it is. You can see different sections if you want to. And when you make an account, you can see 10 free articles a month or within 30 days. So basically, I can choose what section I want to read. There was one I accidentally tapped on. Wonderful. I accidentally tap on these a lot. That's the way I think they designed the app. But anyway... Anyway, you get the idea. So yeah, I, I keep tapping on that by accident. We're supposed to be able to tap this red bar here and get uh, information. There it is. Kind of hard to tap. And you can download this to read offline if you want to. Get your accounts. Pretty nice. Nice. You can search. And that is basically my apps for beginners. If you've got an iPad, I will give you a list um, in the description along with prices and links if you want to get some of these apps or at least stick them on my website for you to look at. Uh, don't forget to thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to subscribe so that way you can um, be notified whenever I make another video. Um, uh, I make videos fairly regular, so please uh, subscribe. It really helps me out. And uh, I will see you later, YouTube. You have a great day.